just got a, one question. Yeah. Um, what are they doing up this early? <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to Morning Joe. Didn't you guys always just assume we were the only ones awake at this time? I yeah, didn't people know anybody was yeah. listening. Yeah, they're up. That's unbelievable. We're celebrating our show's 10th anniversary this morning. Yeah. Really feel old. Uh, countless moments, countless major events, countless family members, countless big moments. And this morning, we're going to be looking back at it all and what's ahead for the country. And while we're gathered here in this historic studio, Studio 8H in New York City, just across town, President Donald Trump is hours away from his first address to the UN General Assembly, something we never thought we would be saying. Oh my God. Ten years ago. It is just we're going to break painful. down what is at stake. Yeah. And with a lot of guests, me. There's a lot at tons stake. Tons of guests. Okay, so this morning we're going to have New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, and many more all here on set. But first, this block, we've got the core of Morning Joe. Joe, Willie, me, and of course, legendary columnist Mike Barnacle. <laughs> yeah. Um, Many more of the tour to come this morning, but wow. Uh, so the three of us, I think we're the longest uh, running anchor team on television. Well, I mean, I, I would hope so. <laughs> I would hope nobody I else did that. I mean, this dumb, it, this old. What's so crazy is, and, and we always tell the story, uh, what's so crazy is, Willie, is how quickly it happened. We just got around the set. We didn't know each other. And you're talking about Rangoon two seconds in. <laughs> Chris Licht will remember, and uh, and TJ uh, and Peter will remember. They Our were counting us in. They're here. going five, four, three. And it was Bender, two, one, go, go. And we're in the middle of this great conversation, and we didn't even look up in our first show. We just kept talking. And we haven't taken a time cue since that day. <laughs> I know. We, we kept that we tradition going. We haven't stopped talking. Some <laughs> of us will never stop talking. No, you ever. Won't. It's sad. Well, when you called me. Ten years ago, the guy from Scarborough Country saying, "Would you like to drive into Secaucus, New Jersey, at 2 a.m. every day?" Yeah. I thought, hell, no, I don't <laughs> want to do that every day. But we had a blast right away. Now, if you'd said it's going to be 10 years, I probably wouldn't have believed you. Yeah. But think about how much has changed. We didn't. We were still in the Bush administration. The idea of who was going to be the next president came down to Hillary Clinton and Rudy Giuliani for 2008. Right. Oh, we were, we were showing polls the first. Four months showing that Giuliani and, and Clinton were ahead of everybody. We woke up a couple of mornings, one with the first African-American president in the history of this country sitting on this set, and then a few months ago with Donald J. Trump as the president of the United States. A couple things that people would not have predicted the day we started this show. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, Mike Barnacle, we showed a couple of clips of some, some, some friends, of course. Tim Russert, who we always say, it was sort of the defining moment when we were in Iowa and they had shoved us off into a coffee shop. Everybody else was at, at the, <laughs> the Civic Center in, in, right, in Des Moines, and they would, they would not let us go there. So they put us in, thank God, in Java Joe's, a place that we absolutely love and keep going back to all the time. But, you know, the insiders were all watching the show. When we knew it, we were getting texts from every campaign immediately. But it really wasn't until Tim Russert left the Civic Center and basically said, there's no action going on over here. All the action's over at that coffee shop, the darkness of the edge of town. And appeared and tried to choke me. He walked yeah, in, he yeah, he kicked out the door and, and tried to choke you. But really, Tim, uh, Tim was so important to this show early on in basically giving it the Russert stamp of approval. God yeah, that, that was a big moment. And uh, of course, Tim being Tim, he brought gravitas. He brought, uh, he brought a whole lot to the table. He brought insight. But he had, it was, it was funny the way it happened, because once he appeared on our program, he had fun. Hmm. Uh, he had fun on air talking with us. And I think it opened the door to a lot of other people who said, hey, we want to get in on this too. Yeah. Because as you just said, from the conversation that you were having prior to being counted down going on in the first show, that's the way the show has evolved. That's what the show is. It's just to have a conversation. And the best part of it is, Mika, that, that so many people that are new to the show that come on the show, they'll go, are you, are we on set? Are we not on set? I, I mean, are we on camera? Are we not on camera? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I was distracted. 
looking at Pat. <laughs> Pat Buchanan, what was Pat's quote? Oh, we, I'm going to take him way, down to the we're, river we're, and hold him down until the thrashing stops. Yeah, talking about uh, one of those. Levi points. Johnson. Levi Johnson, <laughs> exactly. So Pat's watching this morning. Hey, Pat, and we're going to we're going to show some best of best Pat of Pat clips <laughs> as well. well. Why don't we uh, Why don't we get to the news? All right. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.